confronted with studies that say masks do jack shit. And we all know it, right? We all knew it from beat one. Everyone knew it, right? If you had, if you had a one firing neuron left in your brain, which I know they're trying to destroy between mainstream media and social media and endless clicking and blah, 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 blah. But if you were thinking a little bit, everyone knew you put these claw things on your face, whatever that stupid thing was, it was open here, it was open here, it was open here, it was open here. When you'd meet someone on the street, you'd take your mask down to talk to them because you couldn't hear anything. You'd go to a restaurant, somehow if you were sitting, you could take your mask off. If you were standing, I guess COVID couldn't get over six feet, but it could be that. It was every. Literally every bit of it was nonsense. And I do want to go on the record one more time. I will never be being injected with any of your nonsense. And I am never putting on a mask again, whether it's the alien invasion you tell me I have to put the mask on or the zombie apocalypse or COVID-9. None of it. I am not playing your games anymore. And I'm very proud to say I didn't, I, you know, within the, I did the two weeks of stop the spread bullshit, but I ain't doing any of it. And I was, and I'm very proud to say that I was, uh, awoke, uh, awakened on this thing, uh, pretty early on. But what is really going on here? It seems to me that what we've laid out here on this new Rubin report set today is that we have a government bureaucracy, these three letter agencies that seem to be pulling the strings of our old world mainstream media and the entertainment and governmental institutions that are supposed to protect our freedoms. And instead, they're, they're empowering them to push, uh, push away our freedoms, take away our freedoms. And we are going, in essence, from a democracy to a tyrannical regime. And this is happening all over the West. Cue a video of world leaders exposing themselves for what they are, time. Individuals are allowed to make their own choices. There may be all sorts of different reasons why someone is hesitant to get vaccinated. And therefore, while not forcing anyone to get vaccinated, enforcement measures in place will make sure that everyone is vaccinated. People to have their jobs, to keep their jobs, were forced to have the vaccination. Now, do you retract your statement that they were not forced? I uh, Senator, no, I, I believe firmly that nobody was forced to have a vaccine. As people that don't want this mandatory vaccine, how do we manage well, it? Well, then they won't be going to work. Okay. It's very, very simple. I believe everybody was offered an opportunity to get a vaccine or not get a vaccine. I don't believe that anybody was forced to take a vaccine. We have said no, you must get vaccinated. Um, in terms of the vaccine mandates, I acknowledge that it was a challenging time for people, but they may ultimately made their own choices. A vaccine mandate is being expanded to around 40% of all workers. You basically see it to two different classes of people. If you're vaccinated or if you're unvaccinated, you have all these rights. If you are vaccinated... That is what it is. So, yep, hospitality, hairdressers and gyms can operate at all levels if they ask customers for a vaccine certificate. There was no... There was no compulsory vaccination, people made their own choices. And so it follows that if customers must be vaccinated, then so too must the workers. I want to be clear, guys. Uh, we're going to have a compulsory non-vaccination policy here at the Ruben Report. When they come back,